Today, we've got a woke TikToker telling us with a straight face that grammar, proper grammar and expecting people to use it, is racist. Okay, speaking as an educator, as well as just a human being, we need to remember that things like this is white supremacy. The idea that grammar, that proper syntax, that whatever it is that you think needs to be corrected in a moment of someone expressing or saying something is racist. Say this to educators because that tweet was from educators attacking another educator who is a woman of color and also our union president, the second largest teachers union in the United States. And she is the first woman of color to be our president. And if you know LA, that's a big deal. So the fact that we have educators who are saying with their full chest that what she said was incorrect and trying to police her language because of grammar, because they were upset they did not get their way, even though a majority vote went through the house, really speaks to who these educators are. And this is a call in. And I wanna be honest about that. that. It truly is a call in because I'm not naming names. I'm just saying you as a group need to work on do better. Because if that's what you're saying out front publicly, saying that all right there, like, honey, what is going on? Because if that's what you're saying, what is happening behind your closed door in your classroom then? Like really think, would, is that how you would talk to a student in your classroom. And if it isn't, why do you think it's okay to talk to an adult that way? Like, let's all sit with that and stop throwing a fit on Twitter by attacking other people. You can be upset, you can post your upsetness, you can post how un like unfair it feels to you. That is fine, but you should never use that harm, that trauma, that hurt to go and attack another human being especially a human being that is leading us, especially, especially when they are a woman of color. Do better. Let's sit with that. Do better. Y'all, I'm telling you right now, if I walked in, met this person, and they were my kid's teacher, my kid's changing classes. If I heard five minutes of them talking like this, my kid's changing classes or my kid's going to a different school. The hilarious but actually kind of sick and twisted part of the argument made in this video is that by saying you think it's racist to expect people to use proper grammar and syntax you're actually suggesting that black people or minorities are less capable of speaking in correct english and using proper grammar which is not true and is actually racist also for you to be going on and on about how this person who's being criticized for using improper grammar is a woman of color and therefore shouldn't be criticized for being corrected for grammar is also racist you're saying that people should have different expectations lower expectations for a woman of color who is in a leadership position when if you actually are opposed to racism what you would say is well, anybody who's in this important leadership position, we should have the same standards for them, regardless of their race. But this woke mindset literally has you having different standards for different races and thinking that you're the one who's against racism. Babe, the math isn't mathing. It's funny because my mom often corrects me if I say something incorrect in my videos or even talking to her on the phone. If I mispronounce a word or if I say something with incorrect grammar, she'll correct me. And it's kind of annoying, but I'm actually glad she does it. By this person's logic, is my mom racist against me or something? I'm glad she does it, though, because the first couple times she started doing it when I was, you know, in college still, I think she... I asked her, like, come on, like, why are you doing that? And she explained, because your goal is to be on TV, to be a journalist, to be a presenter, to be on social media, and I want you to say it correctly when you're in public so you don't look silly or sound dumb. And I was like, damn, that's actually a good point. Please, please do keep correcting me. Thank you. That's helpful. In the same way, you'd think somebody in a public leadership position would, would kind of want to know if they said something incorrect so they could correct it and not look dumb next time. But no, 
apparently. We can't expect people to use proper English and grammar because even that is considered racist now. Again, we have this boy who cried wolf problem, though. Like, the thing is that actual genuine racism is so evil and so vile, and we have such a dark history of it in this country, and some of that still affects life today, that it's it's really wrong to water down and to neuter the term racism and racist and make it lose its significance by being overused in so many situations where it doesn't apply. That's exactly what people like this TikToker are doing. It's a real shame and we just, we need a complete and total shutdown of woke white savior TikTokers until we can figure out what the hell is going on. All right, everybody, let me know what you thought of that TikTok in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. 